ఇంటర్మీడియట్ విద్యా రంగంలో అగ్రగామి మన ఎన్ఎస్ఆర్ ఇంపల్స్ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూషన్ ఐఐటి జేఏ అయిన మీ చైనా తెలుగులేని విద్యా సంస్థ ఎన్ఎస్ఆర్ ఇంపల్స్ right hello students let us continue with what is called structural peculiarity of the c4 leaf so what we have discussed for the last class we discussed for the last class the very uh, different structural character very peculiar mean very very rare character we find in case of c4 leaf what are the structural peculiarities so we studied for the last class the kranzi anatomy as well as chloroplast dimorphism so we have discussed that we find that i uh, want so we find that we know that in generally if you take the leaf anatomy you find upper epidermis and you find what is called lower epidermis now in lower epidermis what you find is nothing but stomata what did you study general characteristics of the leaf what you study you find stomata above to the stomata what you find substomatal cavity what you find is substomatal cavity okay so when you take here we find upper epidermis lower epidermis in the sen- in between what you find it's called together it's called mesophyll so what you find here from here to here it's called mesophyll in the mesophyll upper long columnar cells with the chloroplast it's called palisade parenchyma you know it very well down parenchyma with more intercellular spaces it's called a spongy parenchyma so palisade parenchyma spongy parenchyma both come under mesophyll then what you find in the center this is nothing but vascular bundle this is what is vascular bundle now this vascular bundle inside if you look at you find this is xylem and the black colored cells what you find is nothing but phloem and this vascular bundle it's surrounded by a bundle sheath cells in a black colored one what i have drawn this is what is ring like arrangement of cells with or kranzi anatomy what you find this is nothing but a bundle sheath cells now this is very very important now what are the two structural peculiarities we have to study one is chloroplast dimorphism meaning what two types of chloroplast where do you find two types of chloroplast one is in the mesophyll in the mesophyll cell what you find here it's called as a granal chloroplast right what you find here a granal chloroplast one of the structural peculiarity is chloroplast dimorphism i'm talking about this two types of chloroplast where do you find a granal chloroplast where granal chloroplast is present it is present in the mesophyll what is the other type of chloroplast that is called a granal chloroplast a granal chloroplast where it is present it is present in the bundle sheath cells these two are very 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 important and mostly the question comes from these two corners okay what is the meaning of this mesophyll cell contain granal chloroplast bundle sheath cells contain a granal chloroplast granal a granal two types of chloroplast that's why it's called chloroplast dimorphism this is one structural peculiarity observed only in case of c4 leaf right what is the other one other one is kranzi anatomy so kranzi anatomy let us speak about kranzi anatomy now this general parts you know it very well what are general parts upper epidermis lower epidermis stomata substomatal cavity stomata and substomatal cavity this is vascular bundle xylem and phloem right upper epidermis this is palisade parenchyma this is spongy parenchyma this general characters you know it very well so i'm just analyzing the general characters now let us concentrate on kranzi anatomy ipude on this sensor next class start ayindi so here if you look at the general characters i'm arising it one of the structural peculiarity we covered it what is that one structural peculiarity chloroplast dimorphism we completed now let us concentrate on kranzi anatomy 
what is kranzi anatomy vritt vritt means ring like arrangement what is kranzi anatomy vritt means ring like arrangement of bundle sheet cells these are called as bundle sheet cells now in this what type of chloroplast means a granal chloroplast mean chloroplast without grana so in bundle sheet cells you find a granal chloroplast now what are the points you are supposed to remember this bundle sheet cells if in bundle sheet cells we find large number of chloroplast okay we find large number of chloroplast then it contain thick walls thick walls which are impervious to gases meaning what so these are very thick walls this contain very very thick walls very thick walls it will not allow the movement of gases very very thick walls are there impervious to gases large number of chloroplast and no intercellular spaces no intercellular spaces how they are arranged means without intercellular spaces so these are the characteristics which you have to remember for bundle sheet cells large number of chloroplast means very big number of chloroplast and thick walls are there which are impervious to gases and no intercellular spaces this is how the bundle sheet cells are arranged and inside the bundle sheet cells what do you call this type of chloroplast this is a granal chloroplast and inside the mesophyll what you find a granal chloroplast and granal a granal is called chloroplast dimorphism what is kranzi anatomy wrist like meaning ring like arrangement of bundle sheet cells which large number of chloroplast thick walls with impervious to gases and no intercellular spaces such type of arrangement you find only in case of c4 plants so which type of plants fall in c4 c4 category for example you can take maize right sugar cane amaranthus so there's a long, big list of plants are there i'll give you another time amaranthus all that wheat maize uh, sugar cane amaranthus this all will come under c4 plants c4 plant shows two structural peculiarities one is kranzi anatomy and other one is chloroplast dimorphism kranzi anatomy related to ring like arrangement of bundle sheet cells with these characters with a granal chloroplast mesophyll is having granal chloroplast meaning here with the grana they are present with the grana so two types of chloroplast is present it's called chloroplast dimorphism these structural peculiarities rare characters are found only in case of c4 plants right now let us continue with what c4 pathway so what is the thing we have to study c4 pathway the c4 pathway who discovered c4 pathway hatch and slash so c4 pathway is also called as hatch and slash pathway which is also called as 
which is also called as remember guys there is one more uh, name for this C4 cycle also called as beta carboxylation beta carboxylation cycle. So, C4 cycle can be dealt with the different terminologies right now let us study about C4 cycle here. Now initially if you look at 6 molecules of carbon dioxide react with 6 molecules of PEP. The PEP means phosphoenone pyruvate. I will write somewhere here. So, here I will write again PEP. What is PEP? This is called phosphoenol pyruvate. Right? How many carbons it has? It has 3 carbons. In the very beginning, 6 molecules of carbon dioxide reacts with 6 molecules of PEP. Okay. So, what is PEP? PEP is called phosphoenol pyruvate. Now, if you look at, so this PEP we have very important point. I hope it will be covered till end. This is called primary carbon dioxide acceptor. So, this is mostly we get it in the form of a question. What is the question? In C4 pathway, who is the primary carbon dioxide acceptor? Then what is the answer? PEP, phosphoenone pyruvate. We call PEP. I hope this part is visible right till here. Just let me have a check. Right. Now let us continue with this. So here 6 molecules of carbon dioxide reacts with 6 PEP then that leads to formation of the compound called as 6 molecules of OAA. What is OAA? Oxaloacetic acid. How many carbons does it has? It has 4 carbons. Right? It produced with what? 6 molecules of carbon dioxide reacts with 6 molecules of PEP and produces what? 6 molecules of oxaloacetic acid. So, what is the question expected from this? The question what we expect is the first stable product, the first stable product produced in C4 pathway. First stable product produced in C4 pathway is OAA. This is very very important question. If at all in C4 pathway, if the question is the primary carbon dioxide acceptor means who absorbs carbon dioxide means PEP, phosphoenol pyruvate. Who is the first stable product? First stable product produced means OAA, oxaloacetic acid. Now, for every reaction here, we need to study three things. First thing is the what is the name of the reaction that is carboxylation because there is an absorption of carbon dioxide. Name of the reaction is carboxylation. Next very important thing is we need to write about which enzyme is involved in catalyzing this reaction. Then this is called as PEP case. PEP case meaning here this is called PEP carboxylation, carboxylase. What is the enzyme? Here the name of the enzyme is PEP. So, I better I will write here. What is the name of the enzyme here? The name of the enzyme is called PEP carboxylase. In short form it is called, this is name of the enzyme. Carboxylation is the name of the reaction. PEPK carboxylase in short form it is called PEPKs. So, first thing we have to write reaction, name of the reaction. Second thing name of the enzyme. And third thing we have to write about the place or site where the reaction is taking place. Remember this reaction is taking place in cytosol of mesophyll where the reaction is taking place 
in the cytoplasm of mesophyll cell. So three things we have to remember for every equation. First one is what we have to remember name of the reaction. What do you call the reaction name? That is name of the reaction here. Carbon dioxide is absorbed. So it's called carboxylation. Second thing we have to write about name of the enzyme. Which enzyme is catalyzing this reaction? Then that is PEP case. That is PEP carboxylase. And third thing we have to write the site or location where the reaction is taking place. A site or location. The reaction is taking place in cytosol of mesophyll cytoplasm of mesophyll cell but here you very importantly you have to remember cytosol means cytosol of mesophyll contain PEP case means it contain PEP case enzyme but lack of but lack of rubisco but lack of rubisco very 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 important here cytoplasm of mesophyll cell it contain PEP carboxylase enzyme that's why carbon dioxide is absorbed by PEP but lack of rubisco rubisco is absent very 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 important point that is about cytoplasm of mesophyll cell and produced with what 6 oxalic acid plus 6 H3PO4 that is byproduct is produced 6 OAA plus 6 H3PO4 next is next it get converts into <coughs> malic acid it produced with malic acid how many carbons it has four carbons right now so what do you call this name of the reaction name of the reaction here it is called as reduction why it is called reduction let me write here NADPH2 is involved that's why it's called as reduction so I'll write here 6 NAD plus it's getting converted into 6 NADPH2 okay 6 molecules of NAD plus it's involved in the reaction and that gets converted into 6 NADPH2 along with malic acid so here also malic acid is six molecules so as NADPH2 is formed here so first one what we have to write for every reaction we have to write name of the reaction so this name of the reaction here it is it is called reduction first reaction is carboxylation second reaction is reduction what we have to write second thing which is the enzyme catalyzing this reaction here it is PEP case try to remember here name of the enzyme is nothing but malic enzyme okay so for every reaction we are writing three things what is the name of reaction what is the enzyme and where the site is taking place here name of the reaction is reduction what is the enzyme name is malic enzyme and where the site is taking place mean this all three things are very very important where the reaction is taking place it's taking place in chloroplast of mesophyll where it is taking place in the chloroplast of mesophyll suppose the question is PEP2OAA where it is taking cytosol of mesophyll cytoplasm of mesophyll suppose OAA to malic acid where it is taking chloroplast of mesophyll sometimes question will be indirect what type of chloroplast is present if that is the case you have to write a granul chloroplast of mesophyll because in mesophyll we find granul chloroplast then it's visible up to here sir. Okay. visible no sir yeah. then let's continue malic acid after its formation now again it will get converted into uh, six molecules of another compound by reducing carbon dioxide so let me tell you very clearly here how many carbons are there for malic acid four carbons in some plants the malic acid undergo transamination by transamination it may get converted into aspartic acid in some c4 plants 
it is identified that the malic acid what is produced here it undergo transamination what is transamination did you heard anywhere have you studied transamination anywhere where did you study it mineral nutrition last part of fate of ammonia amino acid formation of amino acid ammonia getting converted into amino acid did you remember transketolation and transamination did you remember last part of mineral nutrition so once again you open mineral nutrition try to revise last two reactions right so here malic acid by transamination in some c4 plants it converts into aspartic acid now how many carbons four carbons here also four carbons here also here three carbons three carbons combined with carbon four carbons four carbons now listen carefully here it loses six carbon dioxide molecules four carbon component become three carbon component so i'll write short form first pa six molecules of pa what is pa pyruvic acid how many carbons it has three carbons why six molecules of carbon dioxide is lost so what is the name of this reaction first thing we have to write name of the reaction so here this is called oxidative decarboxylation this is called as oxidative decarboxylation why decarboxylation means carbon dioxide is removed that's why it's called decarboxylation at the same time oxidation is happening what is oxidation here 6 nad plus converted into 6 molecules of nadph2 now this 6 molecules of nadph2 are utilized in the next reaction so here you take so in the next reaction i am writing very clearly six molecules of nadph2 utilized and again convert back into six molecules of nad plus that means what here six nad plus gets converted into six nadph produced here the same thing immediately consumed so here we are not take into consideration in c4 pathway we don't take into consideration of count of six molecules of nadph2 why what they are produced immediately used in the next reaction so don't count six nadph2 produced and immediately utilized so what is the name of the reaction oxidative decarboxylation what is the second thing you need to write name of the enzyme the name of the enzyme here is nothing but i'm writing second thing here the name of the enzyme is malic dehydrogenase what is the name of the enzyme malic dehydrogenase i hope it's clear i wrote straight i read again malic dehydrogenase previous enzyme malic enzyme third thing what so here first one is name of the reaction six carbon dioxide molecules are released out so we call oxidative decarboxylation second is name of the enzyme who catalyzes this reaction of six malic acid converts into six pa malic dehydrogenase what is the third thing you need to write site or location where it is happening remember this reactions are very very important reaction name you have to remember enzyme name you have to remember the site or location is this happens in chloroplast of bundle sheet cells this happens in chloroplast of bundle sheet cells i think the last part what i write may not be visible to you so this last part so i'll just write remember the reaction occurs in bundle sheet cells okay chloroplast of bundle sheet cells very very important these three things are important name of the reaction name of the enzyme where it is taking place second one name of the reaction name of the enzyme where it is taking place name of the reaction name of the enzyme site where it is taking place especially chloroplast of bundle sheet what is the chloroplast a granal chloroplast so questions will be from any corner sometimes the question will be oxidative decarboxylation occurs in where means a granal chloroplast of bundle sheet cells reduction is happening where chloroplast of mesophyll cell and that is granal chloroplast what it is here a granal 
chloroplast right now very very important thing try to concentrate here in bundle sheet cell what happens here is six carbon dioxide observed and it undergo kelvin cycle or what is called a c3 pathway so in c4 pathway again c3 pathway takes place so as a result of c3 pathway what produced here is nothing but starch or glucose so glucose or starch is produced so what is the cycle here you will know that the kelvin cycle you have to draw like this so like this what produced here is nothing but kelvin cycle so here carbon dioxide is absorbed by rubp kelvin cycle gets operated c3 pathway takes place and finally produces glucose or starch again there is a regeneration of rubp back into the system so this is what is called kelvin cycle where kelvin cycle occurs in the bundle sheet cells a granule chloroplast of bundle sheet cells what occurs here so this again absorption of carbon dioxide here this is called this is called first carboxylation this is called first carboxylation once again carboxylation occurs that is in bundle sheet cells where this because of c3 pathway that means in c4 pathway how many carboxylations are happening two carboxylations are happening one carboxylation in the cytosol of mesophyll where carbon dioxide is absorbed by primary carbon dioxide acceptor pep and second time one more time carboxylation is happening where in bundle sheet cells uh, six carbon dioxide what is released here enters into kelvin cycle or c3 pathway again there is a production of glucose or what occurs is dark reaction that is glucose or starch is produced so if you take bundle sheet cells two reactions are happening in bundle sheet cells two reactions what is first one oxidative decarboxylation means removal of carbon dioxide from malic acid followed by carboxylation right so two reactions are happening very very important carefully you have to listen c4 pathway because any question any corner the question may have chance to come right then this pyruvic acid what is produced six molecules now this converts into six pep with the utilization of 12 molecules of atp are consumed and that converts into 12 uh, amp or what you call adp plus in organic phosphorus so wherever atp is consumed so what is first thing we have to write we have to write name of the reaction that is phosphorylation phosphorylation next thing what we have to write name of the enzyme what is the name of the enzyme pyruvate di kinase what we have to write pyruvate di kinase that is name of the enzyme where this is happening this is happening in the site called as chloroplast of mesophyll cell where this is happening chloroplast of mesophyll cell very 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 important now see you have twisted questions here carboxylation pep second carboxylation bundle sheet cells again in bundle sheet cells two reactions are happening oxidative decarboxylation and carboxylation and the same place two reactions are happening what are they chloroplast of mesophyll cell undergo reduction followed by again end of the cycle here also chloroplast of mesophyll cell okay now this is what again pyruvic acid three carbons combines with uh, what you call that uh, combines with 12 atp converts into 12 amp or adp plus in organic phosphorus this happens in the site or location of chloroplast of mesophyll cell and the name of the reaction is phosphorylation what is the name of the enzyme pyruvate dikinase because 6 atp one kinase enzyme is needed 12 atp means two kinase enzymes and this happens in chloroplast of mesophyll cell what are the two reactions occurs in the chloroplast of mesophyll cell reduction in the same chloroplast of mesophyll cell the cycle will end and that is phosphorylation again six pyruvic acid gets converted into six phospho enol pyruvate again the cycle begins again c4 pathway 
takes place. So, this is called as a C4 pathway or also called as C4 cycle. So, here the carboxylation happens twice and that is why it is called beta carboxylation cycle discovered by the scientist Hatch and Slack. So, this is called Hatch and Slack pathway very 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 important pathway what we have studied today it is nothing but what a C4 pathway. So, I will just quickly revise it look at here initially in C4 pathway 6 molecules of carbon dioxide reacts with 6 PEP. What is the question you will get it on this? Who is the primary carbon dioxide acceptor in C4 pathway means PEP. What is PEP? Phosphoenol pyruvate primary carbon dioxide acceptor. How many carbons? 3 carbons. It converts into 6 molecules of OAA. What is that? Oxaloacetic acid. How many carbons? 4 carbons. So, what is the question expected on this? What is the first stable product in C4 pathway means oxaloacetic acid plus 6H3PO4 right. In this for every reaction we have to discuss three things. First thing name of the reaction here carbon dioxide is absorbed so it is called carboxylation. Second thing you have to remember about name of the enzyme. What is the enzyme? PEP case or itself is called PEP carboxylase. A third one is where the reaction is taking place site or location. It is taking place in the cytosol of mesophyll. Next, uh, here OAA again by 6 NAD plus converts into 6 NADPH2 plus malic acid. Here also 4 carbons, here also 4 carbons. Now, this name of the reaction is NAD plus NADPH2 involved means remember that is reduction only. Reduction. What is the name of the enzyme? That is malic enzyme. And where this is taking place in the chloroplast of mesophyll and that to remember that is in granal chloroplast. So, very very important point cytosol of mesophyll cell contains PEP case but lack of rubisco that is why carboxylation is taking care of PEP because it is lack of rubisco. Now, next is this malic acid what is produced in some plants it undergoes transamination and gets converted into what aspartic acid. Now, this malic acid what is produced here 6 NADPH2 what produced here again consume. So, here we will not take into account for uh, 6 NADPH2 because produced again it is consumed. So, malic acid plus 6 NADPH2 becomes 6 NAD plus here it loses 4 carbon compound loses 6 carbon dioxide molecules becomes 3 carbon compound called pyruvic acid 6 molecules. So, here 6 carbon dioxide molecules are released out. So, this is called oxidative decarboxylation name of the reaction. What is the enzyme? Malic dehydrogenase is the name of the enzyme. Where it is happening? In the agranal chloroplast of bundle sheet cells. Very very important. Why? Because in bundle sheet cells the 6 carbon dioxide molecules again undergo carboxylation undergo Kelvin cycle where RUBP results in the formation of exo sugar called glucose. So, in bundle sheet cells two reactions are happening one is carboxylation other one is oxidative decarboxylation. In the total C4 pathway there are two carboxylations one is in cytosol of mesophyll and second carboxylation in the bundle sheet cells very very important. Next. 6 molecules of pyruvic acid it consumes this we have to take for count do not take count for 6 NADPH2 why produced is consumed but take the count of 12 NADP ATP gets converted into 12 ADP where what is the name of the reaction phosphorylation what is the enzyme pyruvate dikinase where it takes place chloroplast of mesophyll cell and this pyruvic acid again cycle end produced again with the product called PEP phosphoenol pyruvate and this is what is called C4 pathway or C4 cycle. Yes, so in C4 pathway I will give you very very important points that is so you all understood now right. So, very very important note points I will give you in C4 pathway see very very importantly I will just write here. So, I will just write here C4 pathway in the total C4 pathway. So, there are two carboxylations will occur note points 
नोट पॉइंट्स नोट पॉइंट्स मीन्स वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स मीन्स वी हैव द पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ गेटिंग द क्वेश्चन ओके दिस आर क्वेश्चन गेटिंग पॉइंट्स इन द एंटायर सी फोर पाथवे वी फाइंड टू कार्बोक्सीशंस टू कार्बोक्सीशंस विल अक एंड वन डी कार्बोक्सीशन अकस so here two carboxylations and one decarboxylation okay very very important so this you will get it in the form of a question in the entire c4 pathway how many carboxylations occur there are two carboxylations how many decarboxylations occur there is one decarboxylation if they ask about the ratio of carboxylation to decarboxylation that is 2 is to 1 i am giving you very very important questions i am giving you very very important questions this is what you will get it in the form of a questions very very important questions right very very important questions two carboxylations one decarboxylation where the two carboxylations will occur the two carboxylations occur one is called as out of the two carboxylations one is called as pp carboxylation and other one is called as rubp carboxylation what's the meaning of that suppose if they ask you question what are the two carboxylations very very important one is called pep carboxylation other one is called rubp carboxylation where the pep carboxylation occur very very important pep carboxylation occurs in where it occurs where it occurs where it occurs in the cytosol of mesophyll pp carboxylation occurs in cytosol of mesophyll so pp carboxylation occurs in mesophyll very very important right then where rubp carboxylation occurs occurs in okay uh, bundle sheet cells where it occurs it occurs in bundle sheet cells where in which place of bundle sheet cell a granal chloroplast a granal chloroplast that is in case of bundle sheet cells very 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 important so this is you mostly you will get it in the form of a questions very very important what are the two questions in the entire c4 pathway two carboxylations occur one decarboxylation occur where is the two what are two carboxylations pep carboxylation rubp carboxylation where pep carboxylation occurs occurs in cytosol of mesophyll means where mesophyll where rubp carboxylation occurs occurs in bundle sheet cells where in bundle sheet means a granal chloroplast where in mesophyll means granal chloroplast see how much they are very very important they are very 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 important mostly you will get it in the form of questions ఇంటర్మీడియట్ విద్యా రంగంలో అగ్రగామి మన ఎన్ఎస్ఆర్ ఇంపల్స్ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూషన్ ఐఐటి జేఏ అయినా నీట్ అయినా తిరుగులేని విద్యా సంస్థ ఎన్ఎస్ఆర్ ఇంపల్స్